Hey guys, how's it going? This is Reggie. So right today, actually, um, my freaking tire started leaking. Broke hands, piece of crap. Anyway, um, it's been actually, it's been leaking for a while. Uh, I've just been uh, filling it up with air because I'm lazy. It's a very slow leak. So when I fill it back up to the recommended, it takes about a week and it goes below the, the fucking meter thingy or whatever you call it. And then the uh, tire light comes on. So... Um, I kind of was like, you know what, it's my day off, let me go change my freaking tires and, and uh, get uh, get it replaced. Um, the tires I have are Kumho Solus. They're pretty shitty tires, I'm not going to lie, but they got thread, you know. I mean, these tires have been on this car for God knows how long. Um, it's been at least, I would say it's been at least six years old, which I know is about the right time to change the tires. And you can tell they were getting bad because they would keep flexing a lot. But me being cheap and lazy, I decided not to do anything because that's how I roll. Uh, until wifey was kind of like, you know, you got to do something. Uh, and plus on these tires, we went in the snow on these Kumo tires. So even though they're pretty shitty tires, they're pretty badass for what they were able to do for me. Um, so first of all, I took it over to uh, Tire Pro or Tire something. It's one of those uh, big companies. Uh, Big, and it's not big old tires it's it's I think it's tire pro and uh, per Google it was absolutely no lines no nothing everything was good live data right I go in there and that's true nobody actually there, there were two people two customers sitting down already so uh, they were already you know helping everything else there were two people employees working in the bay for the tire bay it was full so I'm like fuck man I just need to have my tire you know, patched up and I hope it doesn't take too long so I go stand in line and uh, the two people are helping the two customers and uh, I'm waiting there five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes go by, right? Literally fifteen minutes go by because I went there at eight, it was eight fifteen by that time. They're still talking to these people and I'm like, okay, let me let me try to figure out what the hell they're saying because this is ridiculous. They're talking about the weather, about how their day is going and I'm thinking to myself, yo dude, it's 8 a.m. How the day is going? The fucking day just started, yo. Like, why would you ask that question? And secondly, can't you just look out the window? It's raining. Like, literally, it's raining outside. So if you have a question to ask about the weather, look outside. I get it they're trying to build that customer rapport bullshit, but you're a tire company. You got a customer's waiting. I've been waiting for 15 fucking minutes. And then behind me, there were four other people now. So now you got more people. So I'm counting it up. The bay is full. Uh, they had three bays, three cars in there. So that's three customers being worked on. And then we got two more customers sitting down. I don't know if they're the ones waiting or if these are new customers, but who gives a shit? It's already been 50 minutes. And then I'm next. Um, and then there's four people behind me. And I don't know how long this fucking tire patch is gonna take. It shouldn't take this long, to be honest. I'm getting irritated. So I'm like, you know, fuck this. I'm just leaving, I'm bouncing. So I leave. I go over to uh, a local shop, a mom and pop shop. It's not a big tie company. <laughs> these guys, these guys are legit. They're cool. I mean, they gotta make the profit. I get it. They sell used tires. A big, big deal, you know. Um, but I've gone there a few times to get stuff done, and they were pretty legit. Instant service. I can't complain. I, I go over there. I drive over there. You know, the guy's like, "Hey, what's up? What can I do?" I'm like, "Man, I got a tire leak. Can you check it out?" And he's like, "Yeah, pull over or uh, pull in. I'll take care of it." I'm like, "What the fuck? Uh, what? Okay." So no delay. He, he so he pulls up. He looks at my rear right tire and he's like, "Yo, dude, your tire's bald as hell and there's a nail inside. I can fix it, but it's kind of pointless. Your tire's bald. Check it out." So he showed it to me. He wasn't even bullshit. I, I looked at it. I'm like, "Oh shit, that's hella bald." Like it was bald. Uh, I didn't have the tire gauge, but I mean, you could clearly tell this tire needed to go. So I'm like, fuck, man. All right. So how much is a tire, man? I don't want to spend too much. He's like, I can hook you up. I mean, I got uh, used tires that got pretty damn good thread there in the green. So he showed me the tire stuff. I'm like, I can hook you up with this. Um, I won't tell the price, but he hooked me up. Definitely hooked me up. It was Bridgetones from the Kumho. I looked up the ratings and everything else. I'll uh, I'll post the ratings uh, for you guys so you can see. Uh, so I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, install that but I'm like man I don't want to just do one side and the other side be kind of tore up so I'm like if I buy two can you really hook it up you know out the door kind of hook it up he's like I got you so um, he gave me both bridge stones now one the ones I have of course in the front or what I used what I had 
was the Kumho Solstice, Sol Solus, whatever the hell it's called. And the ones I have now are different. In the rear right is the Bridgestone, fuck, I don't know the name or the model. Um, and the rear left is another Bridgestone, but it's a different model. Now I know they're two different models, they're Bridgestone and they have the same thread rating, so that's good. And then what I did was I pulled up tire racks, you know, ratings to just compare my current setup with these two. Jesus Christ, night and day difference. Overall, overall rating for my Kumho's are 2 out of 10, which is garbage. And the, the snow and ice rating was 2. I drove on that with these tires, yo. Um, while these two, the ratings are 7.1 and 7.3 out of 10. Wow, that's a huge difference. Snow to, snow ratings are 5.5.1 uh, and 5.5. So that's huge. That's major. I mean, that's an improvement right now. You know, I mean, just right there. Installed it, balanced it out, and everything else. Um, I asked him what's your advice about the fronts. He's like, they're garbage, but they do have thread. So it's up to you. I mean, I can hook you up, but you could probably last a while. So he kind of recommended. He's like, you know what? You should just rotate the put the back tires to the front. And then that's it. He's, he said he could do it, but it would be a charge because he has to do all that stuff. I'm like, nah, I got it. I'll just take care of it. It's hella easy anyways. It's just rotating the tires from the back to the front. So I'm going to do that when I get home. Uh, that'll be taken care of. Um, save myself a shit ton of money. Um, like a lot of money. I didn't, just an example, I didn't even spend a hundred bucks to get these two Bridgestones installed, balanced, mounted, blah, blah, blah. You know, so that should tell you how good of a hookup that was. Um, yeah, what can I say? I'm hella happy. I'm hella happy he did the leak test. There was no leaks. He even said, he's like, man, if any issues, come back, I got you. I'm like, yeah, I know I know you got me because you, you guys have helped me out before. So huge kudos to these guys. I'll put a link to their uh, place and location. I mean, I'm not getting any kind of um, bonus from this, but great customer service is hard to find. And I'm all about customer service, especially if it's a mom and pop store that's doing, you know, what they can. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, just wanted to let you know about my experience. I've been driving on these tires now. I've been driven it, driven it about five miles. I can tell instantly the difference. Like, they're in the back, but there's a difference. So, yeah, that's insane. Uh, I'm just wondering how good of a difference will be when I flip it to the front because it's a front-wheel drive car. So, yeah, I'm kind of I'm, I'm happy. But at the same time, I'm kind of lazy because it's raining. So I might wait until the weekend <laughs> to do the flip. Anyways, that was my quick video about what's going on today on my day off. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe, and comment below what you think about these Kumho tires. And, uh, you know, um, what you think about Bridgestones too. I never had Bridgestones, so this is new. Um, pretty happy right now, can't complain. It's a cheap ass tire, but hey, who gives a shit? It's, it's, it works for me, you know? All right, guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.